right, the video train keeps on rolling. Grant Floyd again. Choo -choo. Grant Floyd again with Wendell Lee Well Services. Uh, got another doozy for you today. Going to talk about the, the drill bits we use during the drilling operation. Uh, how many of them are there? What's their purpose? What's their size? How it works? Uh, you name it, we're going to talk about it today. Okay, during the drilling process, we use three bits to drill a well. The first one you see here is what's called a wing bit, or what I like to call the starter bit, because it starts the hole. Uh, this bit serves two purposes. First purpose being to, to get the well at the right diameter to meet state law. State law requires well drillers have a certain space large enough around the well casing to achieve the proper grout seal when grouting the well to keep contaminants from entering the well. So this bit serves that purpose. Uh, it, it's, it, it drills to the proper diameter to meet state law and it also opens the hole wide enough to insert the second bit into the well. As you can see here now that Josh has moved out of the way before we start the drill uh, the bit's not really that big. Looks like a looks like a three-way blade kind of. Very easy to maneuver, but it does have a purpose. Again, this bit only runs down the first rod about 25 feet or so to obtain the proper depth with the right diameter finished drilling with the with the wing bit now this bit will be put on the truck and this bit is done being used for the, for the duration of the well okay so now that we're done with the first bit we're going to start with the second bit it's what's typically ter referred to as a stabilizer uh, as you see, it's much longer, about 15 feet in length. Uh, very, very robust, very sturdy. Uh, made to, made to grind through almost anything but actual bedrock itself. Uh, this, this bit serves as the bit that runs through all the overburden, sand, silt, gravel, dirt, whatever, whatever is is down below the surface until bedrock is is reached uh, our average depth of bedrock is about 80 feet but it 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 varies a lot this bit only runs down until we're ready to set casing so as you see here we have reached the depth where the where, where the rock is hard enough so we can set casing it in the actual well itself so once we get down to rock, this bit is pulled out of the hole and it is finished for the duration of the well. Okay, the third bit you see here is the last and final bit. It's what's called a hammer, or a, a button bit is what's on the end of it, but it's operated by a hammer. Uh, this is the bit that goes through the well casing itself and drills through bedrock to find the source of water. It's, it's operated by air, and air operates a piston inside the case, which hits the bit and makes a hammering sound while the bit turns. Uh, these, these bits are very uh, costly but durable. Uh, they have carbide tips on the end of them that, that, that help them last around 1,500 to 2,000 feet in the, in the bedrock before they have to be changed. Uh, so what you're seeing us do here uh, we generally, after each well, pull a bit off to, to sharpen it and, and replace it with a new bit or one that has already been sharpened previously. So once we 
once we break this bit loose, you'll, you'll see a couple pictures of what the actual bit looks like on the bottom of a hammer, one being used and one being a, a brand new bit. Take some pretty, pretty big tools to break these bits loose, but once you've done it a time or two, it's just like anything else. You get the hang of it pretty fast. Okay, so here you see we're getting ready to change out a brand new bit. Uh, here comes the old bit off of the off of the hammer. Uh, it will be it will be sharpened. To see here in a little bit. You can see how this one's worn pretty bad. Has some wear on the sides as well as the buttons on the on the bottom of the bit. And here goes the here goes the new bit back on the back on the hammer to be ran in a in a new hole. So here here's a better picture of a of a bit. Uh, Josh is actually sharpening this bit up. Uh, just pretty simple design. Carbide buttons on the bottom. With some grooves on the side of the bit to allow the uh, rock cuttings to come up by the hammer and out the hole. The the two holes you see there in the bottom are where the air and and water come from the drill rig to help operate the hammer and push the rock cuttings out of the hole. And that's pretty much all there is to know about the drill bits we use. Uh, it's not just not that complicated, but at the same time, it isn't just one bit that's, that's used. There's more than one bit. Each bit has a, a specific purpose. Hope this gives you a better idea of, of, the, of the drill bits that are used when drilling a, a rock water well.